Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate the encouragement. What do you think, ma'am? What do I think? Yeah. I agree. You do. I, I agree with you. Okay. Um, but I, I have a but. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> the but is that I understand um, purely when somebody chooses to make that choice. Okay, why is that? In circumstances of um, extreme health to the baby okay. or to the mother. Okay. Um, in circumstances of... Do you, before you go into the second, keep okay. your thought. Go ahead. Do you think it's a doctor's obligation to do his best to save both lives? Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right. So we don't automatically just say baby must die. No. Because there's a lot of times, I, when my wife and I had one of our kids, mm -hmm. the, the, the physician said that there's problems with the baby and you should abort the baby. We right. didn't, and the baby's healthy, normal, whatever, right? I get that. I, so, I myself, I'll tell my story a little bit. Yeah. I was born um, with a condition that they did not ex discover until I was 14 months old. Wow. And upon discovery, they said she may not live into her teens. Wow. I'm 28 and a half years old. That is wonderful. No plans of going anywhere. Good for you. So I, I get it. Okay. I get how they can be wrong. Yeah, I do. yeah. I, I fully understand. Okay. That. So, but, so then you're saying the cases of what extreme health, that not just automatically kill the baby, you would agree the doctor should try to save both, if at all possible. Absolutely. Okay, go ahead with Absolutely. your second second instances. I also understand where, if it was a traumatic coming of the child. Okay, like so, you're getting raped, exactly. incest. Okay. Some sort of, okay. say, you know, a father does it to their daughter. Okay. That's, that's really, yeah, it happens. It's um, a very sad honestly, thing. Honestly, in my opinion, in that circumstance, if you can make it through the pregnancy mm -hmm. and somebody can then raise your child for you adoption mm -hmm. yeah 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 something like that yeah obviously the optimal okay. experience but you would allow abortion in that carrying, instances if carrying that child brings you so much pain mm -hmm. that you can't make it through and you're thinking about taking your own life mm -hmm. at that point so you should execute the baby that's what no okay fair fair I get two wrongs don't, the baby didn't make anything. But let's talk even. about it. You're 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 making the man who perpetrated this awful sin, be it a rapist or a father, uncle, family, ra ancestral rapist. I do believe that the Bible says, I think that that's a capital offense. I think that that man should pay the ultimate price of the sin that he committed. True. But I don't believe that the child should be punished for the sin of the, this wicked father. That is true. So two wrongs don't make a right. And that makes sense to me too, especially mm. if you're considering the, the point where life starts from conception. Yeah. Which, which, which it, it does. Yeah. It does. It's alive yeah. from the very beginning. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's very um, good. So I, I, I understand both sides, I guess, is what okay. I'm saying. While I myself would pretty much never choose that circumstance, mm. because I believe it's murder, okay. I can understand the other argument if, where... If a woman, let's just say that the that a woman has a baby, and after she has the baby, she takes some t scissors and punctures its heart and kills it. Is that a crime? Yes. Okay. Why is it not a crime for her to do that when the baby's inside of her womb? You got me there. You're okay. Right. And that's why I'm not, I'm, I'm pro-life, but I'm an abolitionist because mm -hmm. an abolitionist says that the act of abortion should be criminalized. Just mm -hmm. like a, a lady bashes her toddler's head, she should go to jail or whatever should happen right, to her. That's not okay. But it's the same thing. The pro-life movement actually has perpetuated abortion by having heartbeat laws, you know, 20 weeks or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, and they believe that the woman is a victim as much as the baby, even though it's the woman that walks, I, I go in front of abortion clinics right. and they say, you know, F you, I want to kill this baby, I, you know. Mm -hmm. So they're doing it with absolute knowledge. It's not like they're saying, oh, I can't afford this baby, you know. Right. No, they're just like, screw this baby, I want it dead. Right. So that, that's murder. That's, yeah. That's yeah. a problem. You know, in, in Nazi Germany, they, they passed laws to keep uh, the ability to exterminate Jews. Mm -hmm. So the state can't be the arbiter of who is a human being or not, but otherwise we got Nazi Germany. But here in Connecticut, the Ned Lamont and Susan Bicewich and the rest of the representatives support the murder of innocent babies in the womb. They're of the same ilk of, I, I'm, I would argue and submit to you that they're of the same ilk as Adolf Hitler. That's harsh, isn't I it? Can, but I can, yeah, I can see where you're, it's, I, it's I'm, 
understanding every point of view that you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's wonderful. What's your name? Claire. Claire, I'm Norman. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure talking with you. I I'm one of those that is very good at seeing the whole picture. Yeah, you are. In terms of you know, I can see where you would choose to make this choice. I can mm -hmm. see where you can use to make this choice. Mm -hmm. I know my choice that mm -hmm. I would make, yep. which would be never, never. Yep. I mean, it's a possibility for me personally too. It's a little bit of a, a heart wrencher because I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to carry Chester no. myself. Yeah. Yeah. So if I were ever to get that opportunity, yeah. I would never choose yeah. to intentionally say, "Never mind, I don't want this." Yeah. Because yeah. it would be a huge blessing. Yes. Because I've never been considered like doctors have told me over and over, like we don't know what it's going to look like. Okay. Yeah. We don't know if it's going to be possible. Okay. We can help. You so you try. really, it's very we can personal help you too. With do lot, do lots of things to try, but yeah. we don't know if it's going to be successful. Yeah. We don't know if the baby's going to have complications, yeah. etc. Yeah. Yeah. I've told myself my whole life, if I have a baby with down syndrome with that's would you gonna abort have three it? days to live that's going to have all this absolutely not yeah. i would take it absolutely. me too absolutely absolutely good for you because they deserve a chance to live that's right that's right I, I had a think they're going to live i had a down syndrome i agree i had a down syndrome uh nephew beautiful young man he died um Oh, I don't know. A long time ago now. I tend to live past like 30. Yeah, he was but he was very young when he died. What was he like? 12, 13 years old. Yeah. You know, but he had a beautiful life. You and know, and he died. Beautiful. Oh, such happy yeah, absolutely. They're happy about everything yeah. all the time. And my sister was so blessed by him, and right. it devastated her when when her son died. And and I don't know if she's ever really recovered, and how you recover from something like that. Exactly. But I mean, the the I remember when he was born. Mm -hmm. We didn't know if he was going to live, and they asked me it, uh, as a pastor that I would baptize that baby, and I said, absolutely. Yeah. I would be glad, I'd be honored, and God spared his life. We prayed over him, and God answered our prayers mm -hmm. for, you know, 12, 13 years more. Yeah. Yeah. It's good talking with you. I appreciate the it's encouragement. Nice to talk to you, too. Yeah. But I just wanted to say, you know, I, I understand boy, both points. Mm -hmm. I, yep. I would never choose that choice. Okay. It's, it's too much. Yep. It's too much on you, it's too much on your child. Yeah. Obviously your child's not here anymore. Yeah. And then also, but you're living with that your whole life. Yeah, Same that's true. Or give it up to a adoption. You would adopt probably, Absolutely. you know. So me, you know, just like I would stop a woman or a person from clubbing a uh, infant to death that's been born, I would do whatever I can to stop them from slicing and dicing or poisoning yeah. in the womb. And I, I would want the criminalization of it. And that's what I'm. I've, that's why I'm in a bachelor's. I mean, it's good to talk to you about it because I never would have considered it a criminal thing. Yeah. I mean, you're right. Why wouldn't it should be? Yeah. You're well, otherwise, it's just going to continue. Incri could you imagine during slavery time if they said, you know what, we're just going to free the slaves who are 60 years and older, mm -hmm. and it goes on for another hundred years? Okay, we'll reduce it to. 40 and older, and right. it goes on for another. Incrementalism, the abortion abolitionists, I mean the, the slavery abolitionists like Harry Beecher Stowe and all, all the rest of them, they said no. Slavery <laughs> must end. John Brown, it <laughs> must end. And that's all me now. Yeah. I'm an abolitionist in the same spirit as they are. All of it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's good talking with you and it's good to, to get, you know, hear your story. God bless you and I do pray that you will be able to have children someday. Thank you. And all that. And, and I love the fact that you will do whatever you can, whatever, however that baby is. Yeah. You know? However that baby is. Yeah, I, I, baby's I grew up gonna, with my own struggles. You'll be fine. The babies will be fine. And don't let them say, oh, there's this and that. We need to get rid of it. No, no. Carry it through. Carry it through. Even if you carry it through and they live for two hours and get to see your face smile at them. Yeah. It's worth it. That's exactly right. And there's a devastation that happens to women. You know, the ones that go by, sometimes they've had abortions. They don't say that, but they're yelling and they're angry because they, underneath it, they feel guilty. Yeah, they know. You know, and so I have that. compassion on them, even when they're very angry at me and whatever, because I don't know their story exactly. and the pain that they're in. That's why I, I have, you know, forgiveness for murder can be found in Jesus Christ alone. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's the only hope. You know, just to say, oh, I'm going to forgive myself, it's not enough. Women need to hear, and men who participated in the well need to hear, it's not the unforgivable sin. Mm -hmm. it's, a it's a tragic sin, but it's not the unforgivable sin. Nothing is. Yeah, no, no, except the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, but I don't even know if we can do that anymore. But he forgives that too. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he forgives our sins.
We can't we can't fathom it because we can't be like that. Yeah. yeah. That's what I, I grapple with that all the time. I'm like, well, how can he forgive anybody for doing that? Yeah. And it's like... Yeah. Because I, as a human, absolutely, like, no. Yeah. That's wrong. And I know. And it's wrong. Yeah. He forgives us based upon Jesus Christ, who was God. He went to the cross, God and man. Right. That he took the punishment that sinners deserve so that we could be forgiven. Right. Beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. That's wonderful talking I with you. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you really do. Yeah. yeah. You have a wonderful day. Thank you. You too. You take care. Bye bye.